What's up everyone? This is Seth from PageMaker and today I am going to be showing you how to animate elements on your landing page. You could animate buttons, you can animate text, and you can animate images. I highly recommend if you're going to be using this feature to go light. A lot of animation on a landing page does not look good, it's not credible, and in the end it'll hurt conversions. So if you use this, make sure that you're using it properly and to animate the call to actions where you want action. So, in this case, you're looking at an advertorial and I wanna animate this get 50% off coupon button. I want it to shake, and I want it to shake continuously. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with this website, animate.style. So if you're using this, please note that all this information is on our blog right now. So as soon as you watch this video, you'll be able to go over to our blog and get all the information you need, or you could rewatch this video. Animate.style uh, is where you'll be able to find all the animations that you can add to PageMaker. So for example, if you wanna animate a button, you could have it bounce, you could have a flash, you could have a pulse, rubber band, you could have it come to the page in different ways through back exits, through bouncing entrances, and there's so much that you can do with it. For this case, like I said, I just wanna have this button shaking. So I'm gonna show you how simple it is to do and how you could do it in under one minute. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is go over to your editor and open up that blog page because there's two pieces of code that you need to add. The first piece of code that you're gonna add is gonna be added to the JavaScript module. Copy this code, head over to your editor, click on settings, JavaScript, and then finally add. Give it a name, flashing button, whatever you wanna call it. Paste it and make sure you click on that head position and click save. After that, save the page. Now, the next thing you're gonna to have to do is select the animation that you wanna add. And then you gotta uh, classify a button. So here, I've, I've already said that I want this button to be animated, so I'm gonna click on this button. I'm gonna head over and you're gonna look at this code. So this is the code I'm gonna add. And when you look at the code broken down, it's super, super simple. Whenever you add this code to the button, you have to always add this prefix. So no matter what animation you add, you will always have this prefix. Then you're gonna add the type of animation that you want. So the shaking one is called Tada, and you can see it here, okay? At the end, I've added an optional infinite loop. You don't have to add that if you don't want it to loop infinitely. And at the end, this is what I have. So copy this, and then you'll be able to change whatever animation you want in the middle here. And if you don't want it to loop, then just copy this part of the code. So I'm gonna copy the code. I'm gonna go over into PageMaker. The button's already highlighted. I'm gonna go to attributes. In CSS classes, I'm gonna go paste. Then I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna preview the page again. And there you go. We have an animated button. And that's how simple it is to do with PageMaker. If you have any questions, if you need help, send us a message. And down the line, we're obviously gonna to wanna to try to add this in a more native way of, you know, like a native feature. So um, if you do have any trouble, let us know, we will help you. And we also wanna know your feedback, what, what you guys think of this feature. Thank you, have a great day.